In the electrochemistry group, we work with the batteries and fuel cells, and this is related to make the energy system much more efficient. They are important components for the electrical grid, but also for the transportation sector. With batteries, we're mainly looking at batteries for the transportation sector, for hybrid and electric cars. With batteries, you can reduce emissions and make cars more efficient. The challenge is really to make batteries much cheaper, but also to last longer. Today, the problem is that batteries only last a couple of years, but you keep the car for many, many years, and you want the battery to last the lifetime of the car. With fuel cells, we have worked a long time, and fuel cells makes it possible to convert renewable fuels to electricity in a very efficient way. Uh, the challenge here is to make the fuel cells cheap, but also to last long enough to make them viable in different applications. The application for fuel cells is, for example, in houses where you can generate your own electricity and heat, but it's also for propulsion of cars. Uh, as a replacement for the combustion engine, where you can run the car on, on hydrogen instead. But it could also be a battery replacement in portable electronics, so that your computer or whatever could run longer before you need to recharge it. Here at KTH, we're good at combining experimental work together with modeling and be able to predict the behavior of these components. This gives us a unique position in Sweden and has led to a lot of collaboration together with companies and other universities in this field. I strongly believe that technologies we're working with will make a difference for the future. Uh, they will be able to reduce emissions, but also make us less dependent on fossil fuels.